Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about finding limits graphically. So on the top of the screen here, you have the formal definition of a limit. We're not gonna use this very much. This is pretty much fancy for this notation, which is the limit as x approaches c of f of x is equal to l. The very important thing that we need to pull out of here is that l is a real number. So when I find the limit as x approaches some number of f of x, that limit has to be a number. I cannot have positive or negative infinity as an answer if x is approaching a number. In words, when I'm looking at a limit, I'm looking at where the function is going. So if I have an x value, c, and my function is just traveling along, the y value that x approaches at c is going to be my limit. So if this was my function f of x, the limit as x approaches c of f of x in this case is b. Some other notation we need to be aware of is when you're approaching limits from the left or from the right. So if I have the limit as x approaches c of f of x and there's an exponent with a plus sign here, this means from the right. This is a one-sided limit and is usually used to just describe what's going on with a graph. So these right and left-hand limits can have a value of positive or negative infinity. The other way that you'll see this written is the limit as x approaches c with an exponent that's negative. This means from the left. So when you're looking at a function, you're looking at it approaching x is c from the left-hand side of the function. Again, this is gonna be used to describe the behavior of the graph and is okay to have an answer of positive or negative infinity. Again, just to reiterate even more, if you're looking at the limit as x approaches a number, not from the left or the right, the answer must be a number. If it is not a number, if it's positive or negative infinity, or if there's some type of discontinuity going on there, then the limit does not exist, and we write DNE for does not exist. Let's look at a couple of examples of finding limits graphically. Example one, given the graph of f of x, find all these things. So here's my graph. I'm going to start with A. I want the limit as x approaches negative 8. So since I'm looking for the limit as x approaches negative 8, I'm going to find my x value of negative 8, and I'm going to follow my graph until I get to negative 8. So coming from the left-hand side, I get to a y value of negative 6, and coming from the right-hand side, I also get to a y value of negative 6. So since my limit is the same from both directions, that is my limit. So even though my function is not defined here, there's an open hole there, my limit is still that y value. The limit is always going to be where you're going. So the limit here is negative 6. However, for part b, they asked me to find f of negative 8. So now this is asking me where the function is defined at x equals negative 8. At x equals negative 8, this function is defined here at negative 3. So it is possible to have a limit as x approaches some number and the value of the function at that same number to be a little bit different. This is what causes a discontinuity. So here I can see I have a removable discontinuity or a hole that's then filled in here at negative 8, negative 3. Part C, the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left. So here's x equals negative 2. I'm going to approach this x value from the left-hand side of my graph. So if I follow my graph until I get to x equals negative 2, from the left, this y value is 3. However, if I look at the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right, so again, here's x equals negative 2, I follow along on my graph until I get to x equals negative 2. I can see here that as x is approaching negative 2 from the right, my function is just shooting up to positive infinity. Since this is a left and right hand limit, I can write positive and negative infinity here because again, this is just describing the behavior of the graph. However, when I look here at the limit as x approaches negative 2, since I'm ending up in two different spots from either direction, I end up at 3 from the left and positive infinity from the right, the limit as x approaches negative 2 does not exist. This is a DNE limit. When I look at f of negative 2, the actual value of the function at x equals negative 2, I go by that hard circle, the one that's colored in. So the value of this function at x equals negative 2 is positive 3. Part G, the limit as x approaches 6 from the left. So here's x equals 6. When I follow my function along from the left, the y value I end up at is 2. 
Even though the function is not defined there because of that open circle, the limit is still 2 because that's where the graph is going. For the limit as x approaches 6 from the right, I can see as I'm following along here, I end up at the y value 5. So the limit as x approaches 6 from the right is 5. Since the limit from the left is not equal to the limit from the right, I end up in two different spots. That tells me that this limit does not exist. This is a DNA. In order for the limit as x approaches a value to exist, that y value must end up in the same spot. So this one's called a jump discontinuity. I'm jumping from one y value to the next. And this discontinuity is a removable discontinuity or a hole because there's just an open circle and then it's filled in somewhere, but this limit still exists. Let's look at another graphic example. Number two, given the graph of f of x, find the following limits and function values. So the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the left. Here's x equals negative 4. From the left-hand side, that y value is 3. So the limit here is 3. The limit as x approaches negative 4 from the right. So as my function approaches negative 4 from the right side, the y value I end up at is negative 2. Even though the function is not defined here, that's still my limit coming from the right-hand side because that's the y values that the function is approaching. The next one I have here is the limit as x approaches negative 1. So here's x equals negative 1. From the left, that value is 4. And from the right, that value is also 4. So since my function approaches the same y value from both the left and the right, the limit as x approaches negative 1 is positive 4. Part D. The limit as x approaches 2. So here's my x equals 2 value. As I approach x equals 2 from the left-hand side, my y value is negative 1. As I approach x equals 2 from the right-hand side, my y value is 5. So since the limit from the left is not equal to the limit from the right, I'm not ending up at the same y value from both directions, this limit does not exist. This is a DNE. Part E, find f of 2. So at x equals 2, my function is defined at the spot where my function is colored in, where there's a closed circle. So my y value here is negative 1. So again, although my limit doesn't exist, my function is still defined. I still have a value of negative 1 at x equals 2. So now if I look at f of 4, f of 4 doesn't have a value defined. There's an open circle there. So if the function is not defined, function is undefined. So f of 4 is undefined. So this is something important to note. When a function doesn't have a value, a y value, at the given x value, the function is undefined. If a limit is not appearing, if there's no limit at some x value, then the limit does not exist. So limits are DNE and functions are undefined. Part G, the limit as x approaches 4. So here's x equals 4. My y value is 2. So the limit is 2. Even though this is an open circle, that's a removable discontinuity, the y values are still approaching the same thing from the left and from the right. So the limit as x approaches 4 here is 2. That's it for finding limits graphically. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you are not one of my students and would like a copy of this worksheet, feel free to email me. I will leave that email in the description of this video. Hope you have a great day.